Good afternoon and welcome to Scrapbooking with a Twist. We are going to make an embellishment today for um, the embellishment hop on Ginger's Corner. At least I think that's what it's going to be for. The next embellishment hop is the week of the 16th and it says punch out. So I'm assuming that it's to use punches. So that's what I'm going to make an embellishment with today, just using a bunch of different punches, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. But the first thing I want to do is I want to give a shout out to my team that I was on for my first embellishment hop. I want to show you these. I just got it in the mail today. I could not wait to get in the house to open it up and see what it was. Look at these. Aren't they precious? Look at this little Easter basket. And I don't know who made it. The name's not on it, but that is precious. And this was made by, I believe, Donna. I absolutely, yes, Donna. Oh, I love that. This was made by um, Carrie. And these, you can take these things off and make your cluster however you want to. But they're like hand colored and just oh so cute and then our team captain linda made these and they are precious i cannot wait i mean i can just see these on a page and i have some easter pages to make for my grandson so oh I'm, i love it my team i absolutely love every single one of them i love them cannot wait to use those so today we're going to do like i said what i think is for this next uh, round of embellishments I hope it is anyway. I'm going to show you the um, the scraps that I use today. I'm I'm going to work with purple today. I never get to work with purples and pinks because I scrap all of my grandson's stuff, and so you don't get to use a lot of purple and pink. I've actually kind of started using more, just saying, oh, you know, I'm just going to use it anyway. But um, these are all just scraps, and I used some of all of them on today's embellishment. So you'll see as I use those, but just a lot of different shades of purple. And then I'm gonna show you the punches. I used, I think it was 10 different punches to make this um, embellishment. So the first thing I'm gonna show you, oh, I think I'll wait last for the those because I need to use them. I used four different flower punches. I have these four flower punches that I used. I have two more kind of in this series that are larger, but I just couldn't use. So I had, I used these three and then actually kind of topped them off with this little bitty one. So four flower punches. And then I used um, one little um, like greenery punch that I'm gonna put with those flowers. I used the only word punch I have is love. Oh, that's upside down is this love, but I, so I'm gonna use it today. Actually, I need it, so I think I'll just go ahead and punch it while I have it out here. I need one of those. So let's just do that. So I'm gonna need that. I think that is the only word punch that I own. And then, um, let's see, I used this, which is my tag hole punch, it's a little bitty hole punch, and I'm going to show you how I had to use it. So I think I'll go ahead and do that because I need it. I need one of these flowers, and I'm, I'm going to cover the hole in the tag with a flower. So I wanted a small hole in it. So I'm punching it and then finding that little hole and putting it in the center Of this flower punch so I'm gonna need that and then uh, I used my tag punch which we'll use that in just a minute and I used two border punches I used the scallop and this flower border punch to make my borders so I'm going to um, go ahead and do just a little bit of those and most of you, I'm sure, use, I don't use border punches that much, but I do love border punches. But you line your edge of your paper up with the little end of the 
pattern on the punch. You punch, and then you line that up with the end of the pattern again, and that will line you up perfectly. And you punch again, and that is enough. That's all I need, except that's not the one I need the board, this border on. I need it on this. So we're gonna do that again. So we do this. These are getting kind of old and not as sharp as they used to be. And if you do them on glitter paper, oh, it dulls them so bad. Okay, so there's the one I'm going to need like that. And then um, I'm going to need, let's see, how wide does that need to be? I'm going to not take any chances and do that on this. And then I need the scallop. So I'm gonna line that one up. And get it ready. That should be plenty for that. Okay, now that let's empty these scraps off. Okay, so I think this, I think I ended up cutting this about an inch and a half. So let's just go ahead and do that. And then this other one, I think I cut it right at an inch. punches out of the way. <clears throat> I'm going to need this again because we're going to put this on a tag. So I'm going to go ahead and use my tag punch and get, I've already, oh, I forgot. I used 11 punches because I rounded the corners of these. I used my, um, I used my corner rounder punch. And so I actually used 11 punches to make this embellishment. So I'm gonna put this in here, it's two and a half inches, so it should just fit right in there. And punch that out. Get those scraps out of there. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and assemble this. Now on this, I'm gonna cut this away for now. I wanted the scallop above the little flowers. So I'm just gonna cut this down just to get it to a usable size. I made a full 12 inch to actually make my embellishments, but I wanted to show you how I did it. So I just do this little one here, but I want to get that embellishment, that scallop kind of above those little flowers, just something like that. So we'll just, and I actually want to um, do this. I This one needs to be cut down. I didn't cut it down. I cut the wrong one to the inch. So let's get this one cut down. This is the one inch one that we need. And it's crooked, so it's hard to get it straight on there. Okay. Now then, that should get us going a little better because I wanted a little bit of that purple, that solid purple showing above <clears throat> the scallop piece. So let's get that on there. Okay. 
There we go. And then we will, I'm gonna go ahead and ink. I'm using um, shaded lilac on this just to ink the uh, edges. While I'm doing this, I wanna go ahead and do the twist. The twist is very short tonight. The twist tonight is it's never too late to be forgiven. And this has been the Easter season. And so I've done a couple of devotionals. You may not be watching it during the Easter season, but when I actually filmed it, it was when I videoed it. Um, but the thief on the cross is the perfect example of that. The thief on the cross was just a common criminal. He was being crucified on the same day as Jesus. There were two criminals and Jesus being crucified that day. One of the criminals started just insulting Jesus and saying, you know, you you say you're the Messiah. Why don't you just save yourself and get us down off of here while you're at it? And the other one said, do you not fear God? This man's done nothing wrong. We're, we're being punished and we deserve our punishment. He's done nothing wrong. And don't you fear God? And so he looked at Jesus and he said, remember me today when you go into your kingdom, realizing that Jesus was the king, the eternal king, believing that he was. And Jesus turns to him and says, today you will be with me in paradise. So here this man was literally in the last, could have been the last few breaths of his life. And he turned his life to Jesus. He believes and he was saved. So never ever think that it's too late. There we go. There's no trial period. There's no probationary period. Once we believe that instant, we become members of his kingdom. All right, this is the way I'm going to put this on there. This embellishment kind of reminds me, it's sort of nostalgic. It reminds me of the 70s, the flower children kind of thing. And um, like I said, I never get to play with colors like purple and pink very much. And so to get to play with these colors is so much fun for me. I want to kind of center that on there. Okay. So there's that. Go ahead and trim that down. And then we're going to put a tiny little piece across there. I just liked this little kind of trim piece. So I just very, cut a very narrow little piece of this same uh, solid purple that's underneath there. And um, let me get my embellishments over here that I've already pre-cut. I'm going to just use a little, I want to run just a little piece right along there right along there. I just thought it needed a little something else along there. And then we're gonna start building our embellishments on top of that. So on top of that, we're going to, I need one more of those loves. I didn't punch that all ago, so I need to go back and do that because I actually have a video on my channel that um, shows you how to like make a shadow, make an offset, and I'm going to do that today on this embellishment. I, um, I like the look of that just to give some depth, kind of to, um, so I'm going to lay this up here. I'll need that in a minute. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is build our flower that I want sitting on this. And I want a dark base on that flower. Now, when the people get these, they can curl these flowers up and really give them some depth and, and dimension. But we're, we mail them. They have to stay very flat to mail them. So I'm not going to do that today. But you just get them and you just curl those little petals up and it makes... A world of difference on your on your embellishments. So I want this to kind of hang off the edge just to 
add interest. We're going to put one of the bigger flowers that I used in the dark purple, and then the middle size flower kind of in the lighter purple. Going to just set those so that the petals land in between the other petals. And then I'm going to use a darker, the dark purple again. It's actually a little bit different, but it's very similar to that one. It's not quite as dark as that bottom one. Put that right in the middle. And when those are curled up, it'll, it'll really be cute. Now I'm going to use these little sprigs. And uh, I'm going to do three of those little sprigs on there. And I have one that's cut out of this kind of motley uh, purple. It's kind of a purple and white that I'm going to do for the middle one. And then I'm going to do this little, the same as the, as the tag for the other one. I'm going to do those just like that. So let's get those. I think I want the this one kind of on the bottom. So just slide that right in under those petals. And I want it to stick out as far as it can. Then this top one. If this is not what this <laughs> embellishment swap is about, then I guess I'll come up with something else. But I'm gonna have company and so I really needed to get my embellishments done. So I'm hoping that that's what that means. If not, I'll come up with something else. Oops. Okay. So there's those little sprigs that we've got in under there. Now then, we're going to fix our little word. Now, when I do these, when I'm going to layer these, what I'm going to do, the dark one's going on top, and I'm going to leave the lighter one, when I put them together, I'm going to scoot it over so that you can see a shadow of that lighter one underneath. And so normally, when you're doubling your you know, making chipboard out of out of your cardstock. You usually put the glue on it and do it like that. But when I'm doing this offset, I do the top. I glue the top one. Put the glue on the top one because it's the one I'm going to want to slide around to get it the way I want it. And so you definitely, definitely need to use liquid adhesive so that you've got that second or two to slide it around. So we're gonna put it on top of it. And then we're gonna just slide it. I'm gonna slide the top to the right just a little bit so that we get that shadow to the right and maybe even down just a tiny bit. So it isn't much of a shadow, but it just adds some depth to it so that we're gonna put that right there. Now, I wanna show you what I mean about this flower that I did. See my tag hole? And it's kind of a big tag hole, but I'm gonna cover it with this flower. Or was it, it was this one that I actually think I wanted to use. Either one, I think I'm gonna use that lighter one. And so I'm gonna cover that tag hole with this flower just to add a little, just to make it a little fancier. Tiny little bit of liquid adhesive, again, just so that we can slide it around a little bit. Make sure we have it where we want it. So I want all of that hole covered. There we go. So now we've made our tag hole just a little bit fancier. Now we need to get our word across there. I want it just something like that, I think. So let's get that glued down. Okay. 
And then I'm gonna add just a little bit. This reminds me, like I said, of the 70s, kind of that, it's not psychedelic, but you know, but it's it reminds me of the flower children kind of thing. So I'm gonna add another, a few more flowers just because I want to and because it's fun. So I'm gonna add this little lighter colored one here on the tail of the E on our love. And then I've got some little dark of the little bitty ones. I'm gonna stick that on there. And then I'm gonna add another one. Let's see where they look good. Maybe one there. That would give us three up there and then the one down here. Yes, I think maybe right there. Like I said, it's kind of that love child looking thing and I, I kind of like it. So that's what we're gonna do. And then to kind of finish off these, um, these little flower clusters, I'm going to use my um, white gel pen. And I thought it kind of made it look like these since they're cut out. It, it The middles of them are not cut out, but still, I thought it just kind of, and I'm just gonna do some dots around the center of these flowers just to kind of give them some character there. I just, I don't know, I just kind of liked that as opposed to those plain centers. There's probably other things I could do. You know, you could do some dots along that, which might be kind of cute. The one thing that I did not do on this one that I actually did on the, um, um, the original one and the ones that'll actually be sent to the swap is I roughed up the edge. I took my scissors and I roughed the edge of that and I didn't think to do that on this one that I was showing you. And I really do like that better because it gives that white line there and it kind of ties that together. And then we just, we're gonna put our ribbon in our tag and that's gonna be it. This ribbon's a little bit large for that tiny tag hole, but I really like the smaller tag holes. Sometimes those big ones, the ribbon or the twine or whatever you're using doesn't fill it and it just doesn't look as good to me when it's not filled. Pull that through there. Oops, I missed one. And there we have our embellishment. And I hope that it works for uh, the next swap that starts next week. Because, like I said, it's called Punch Out. And so I was hoping it meant use punches. Again, if these are curled up, which this one's going to be mine, um, like using a pencil or your fingernail, you just roll these up and it just adds so much to them. And um, I, I'm gonna start on the inside one, the tiny one, and roll those up. So when the people get them, they can do that. You just can't do that for the male. It's easier to do it before, but since we can't and mail them, I mean, it wouldn't hurt to go ahead and do them. It's not like it's gonna make them any bulkier, but there's no need to because they're just gonna get mashed down. But it just really adds to them to be able to roll them up like that. You can use your fingernails, you can do them around a a pencil, just anything that'll give them that just kind of rolled look. I would I would even do the smaller one. Oh, I didn't put a center in that little bitty one. I need to put a center in it. There we go. All right, that's what I came up with. 
Hope you enjoyed it. Have a blessed day. Thanks for stopping by. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and help me grow my channel. Just have a blessed day and thanks for stopping by and spending time with me.